Hey guys, so today I'm going to show a video with the student who's working on the area model. And if you're not familiar with this, students use the area model to help them understand conceptually two-digit multiplication. So if you're teaching third grade, they're just multiplying by one-digit numbers, and that's great. By the end of third grade, they should have mastery of their basic facts. Beginning in fourth grade, students are going to start working on multiplying two-digit numbers. But hold on, they don't actually get into that algorithm of multiplying two-digit numbers, you know, the ones with regrouping and adding a zero as a place value, until middle school, so until sixth grade. So if you're a fourth grade teacher, or maybe you are teaching multiple, um, middle school and your kids have lack of conceptual understanding, you're gonna see a wonderful strategy called the area model that will help your students decompose the numbers. So if you have a number like 46, you can decompose it into 40 and six, and then you can multiply it by the other number using a visual model. And you'll see in the video how we also build on understanding of place value. So remember, when you're teaching these multiplication strategies, less drill and more skill. Skill is what builds conceptual understanding. Conceptual understanding is what supports students in being able to reason with mathematics, check for their under, check their mistakes, um, help them self-regulate, as well as just building their confidence and their enjoyment of math, right? Because we enjoy doing things when we can make those connections that we can understand. So let's get started. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, check out the comments, and you can get a copy of this Jamboard for your use in your class. Hello, you guys, and welcome back. Today, I'm going to be using Jamboard, and we are going to use this area model that you can see right here to find the product of 52 times 23. Let's just hop right in it then. So, I'm going to break up 52 into two parts right now. Well, I'm, I'm going to start with 50 on this side, and then I'm going to do 2 right here. Just a little break up thing. Kind of helps me with my math. I suggest it to all those kids out there watching. 20. And then I do a 3. Okay, so let's just t start the multiplication. So 20 times 50, well, I know two, 2 times 5 equals 10. Add the two zeros, 1,000. 1,000. And then let's do 20 times 2. 2 times 2 equals 4. So f add the zero and 40. And then um, 3 times 50, well, 3 times 5 equals 15, so then just add the 0 up from the 50, 150. Next, let's do the final one, 3 times 2, okay, well, I know with, I know that, th I always know my times 2, so this is going to be an easy 6 for me, and then I'm going to do, all of this right here. Okay, so let's start by putting put placing down the one one. Hmm. Zero. Zero. And then zero. Oh, and you guys, if you didn't know that th this is my partial products. Um, little place, I, it, it honestly helps me out with my math, math, I really suggest it for all those kids. Um, and then the hundreds, well, 150, so, 1, 50, then 0. And then the final 10, 40. Okay, so 40. And then 0. Wait, actually, I think I've done this a little bit wrong. I'm supposed to put not a 0 at the end. 
Okay, and now, and then the six from right here. Now that I've, we've written down all of our partial products, we shall add them together. One, well, 1,000 plus 100, 1,100, and then fit, five plus four equals nine, so 90, because you just add the zero, zero from them, and yeah, basically nine, 90. And then, um, well, now we can start adding in the one that now we can start adding in the one as the one hundred in the one hundreds place because we know that it can't change. So now we just change this question mark into a six, and wait, oops, and then we have our final answer one thousand one hundred ninety six. Anyways, see you guys next time. Bye.